All right, guys, so I got your questions on both YouTube and Instagram, and you guys want to know how to activate a TouchPix event using the QR code and also ask me if you guys need a sharing station. Remember, you don't need a sharing station. All you really need is your phone when you're starting off your 360 photo booth business. All right, I have my TouchPix open. This is my dashboard. We're going to activate this event we were working on not too long ago. This is the event when we were uh, coming up with the overlay and the MP3 song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the QR code right here. And then I'm gonna take my phone, the one I'm gonna be using to record, and I'm gonna open up my TouchPix app, which is right here. And I'm gonna go to Activate Event. And usually when you pay the $50 subscription for the week, you can go to Activate. Because I don't have a, a subscription with them right now at this moment, I'm gonna go to Test, but it's the exact same steps. So instead of a Test, you would hit Activate if it's an actual event that you guys are working on. But this is just a quick tutorial for you guys. So I'm gonna hit Test, and then you're gonna get did I, t did, I, did I press it correctly? I did. Okay, so you're going to get this little icon right here pop up, and it wants you to scan that QR code for the event that you're at right now. So let's go ahead and scan this uh, QR code. Okay. All right, it recognized the event, and now it's going to start applying all the settings that we did on TouchPix on that dashboard. It's applying them to this right here right now. That's why you guys can see the overlay, the Robert's birthday, plus the little Easter eggs in the bottom. And this is how it looks. Now, I'm going to hit this... Uh, play button right here and it's going to take me to this menu remember when we selected enable trigger motion well this is what this means as soon as your arm starts spinning the phone is going to acknowledge there's movement and it starts that countdown that three two one and boom it starts recording let's go ahead and just record a little bit of the house the house is kind of dirty but it's okay okay so we record for six seconds about five seconds and now this is what I mean by this is what I like keeping at a minimum is all the effects and the length of the video because it's adding the slow-mo, it's adding the overlay, it's adding the MP3, it's adding all the boomerang effects and stuff like that. So that's what it's doing right now. It's rendering the video. If you guys have an older phone, this might take longer. If you guys have a newer phone or a powerful iPad, this is going to be much faster. I'm using an iPhone 12 mini and it usually takes, it's usually under uh, two minutes. So right now it's adding the audio. And here's a demo. All right, so you guys get the idea, right? And so when the video is done, uh, most of the t so most of, for the most part, this part will be shown on the external screen if you guys have an external screen. But if you guys don't, it doesn't matter. You guys are barely getting started. You're gonna have it here on your phone. The next thing you do is you go to AirDrop it, boom. And then just select the people you want to airdrop it to. And then it's on to the next video. I hope this video helps. Oh, I almost forgot. So if we want to end the session, we'll go here. And then we'll hit the little burger icon, the three lines right over here. And then we're going to go to exit test event. And usually when you have the paid version and you go to exit event, it's going to, it's going to ask you to scan the QR code again. It'll, you'll scan the QR code and the event is closed. You had a successful night. Congratulations on your first event. Subscribe and like, guys. Let's grow this community. Take care. Bye.